So hello my friends, Devon Lennox here, Photography PX. In today's video, we will cover the main highlight features and do an overview of Canon's 5D Mark IV. Initially released in the fall of 2016, the 5D Mark IV marks the latest installment into Canon's highly popular and acclaimed 5D series of full-frame SLRs. It's a camera aimed directly towards the multimedia shooter looking for a fully featured DSLR for both stills and videos, and one Canon aims as a competitor to Nikon's D850 and Sony's A7R Mark III. It features a 30.4 megapixel CMOS sensor and the Digic 6 Plus processor, which combine to deliver significant improvements across all measurements over the predecessor. Most notably, the sensor delivers Canon's best image quality in sharpness, rendition, and dynamic range outside of their flagship 1DX series and the updated processor now allows the camera to offer continuous shooting speeds of up to 7 frames per second with a 21 shot buffer. It also shoots 4K Ultra HD video up to 30 frames per second and 1080p Full HD video up to 60 frames per second. And like its stills performance, video quality too is excellent, even in low light. It has a native ISO range from ISO 100 to 32,000, and it effortlessly delivers usable results up to ISO 12,800 with minimal softness, making it directly comparable to Sony's A7R Mark II in this regard. It inherits a similar focusing system as the flagship 1DX Mark II, and it was the first 5D camera to feature the updated phase detection autofocusing system. The system now houses 61 points, along with Canon's renowned dual pixel CMOS AF for confident focusing in live view or video recordings, even in low light. Longevity is also something we've come to expect from a professional grade Canon SLR, and it surely doesn't disappoint here. It uses the LPE6N battery, which Canon rates for 900 shots per charge. For its display, it features a large optical viewfinder with Clearview 2 technology for added sharpness across a variety of different lighting conditions, and it also provides a 3.2 inch touchscreen LCD which sports touch focus and full menu navigation. Physically, the camera is largely identical to the predecessor, sharing a magnesium alloy build and full weather ceiling and it provides the standard set of controls expected on a fully featured SLR. However, it features built-in time-lapse movie recording, USB 3.0, headphone and microphone inputs, HDR video, anti-flickering, in-camera rating, and wireless connectivity. In the end, the 5D Mark IV holds steadfast to Canon's original vision with the 5D series which was to deliver a well-rounded, competitive camera that serves the widest array of photographic needs. And it's an excellent all-rounder camera and a worthy successor. While mirrorless cameras continue to gain traction and popularity, the Mark IV holds steady in a changing market and a relevant contender today. So there you have it, my friends. There are the highlights in the overview of Canon's 5D Mark IV. For more information on the Mark IV and other recent Canon cameras, visit our website, photographypx.com, go to our camera reviews page, then to the Canon section, and there you will see a full detailed review as well as other reviews of cameras that may be of interest to you. I've been your host, Devon Lennox, photographypx.com. We will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope you found the contents of today's video insightful and added value to you. If you're new here, please consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. Also, leave us a like and a comment in the description down below. Let us know if I overlooked something or I missed something covered in today's video. This is Devon Lennox. You know where to find us. Photography. <laughs>